Welcome to the Grow Your Business Cleveland video series. Co-producing and appearing in the series, the talented GYB CLE interns. Supporting sponsors include NOAC, a regional partnership of Chambers of Commerce, New Image Media, Northeast Ohio's most recognized name in video for business. In this episode, Mary Jane Brigger, business founder, professional speaker, writer, spiritual healer, and Reiki master, shares seven healing steps to discovering your authentic self and life purpose within your business. After the tip, we go backstage where Mary Jane tells us how a chronic illness changed her career path, shares her favorite quote, demonstrates how to calm our monkey minds, and more. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Brigger, and I am owner and president of Soul Care Experience. And I'm here today to help you to connect, reflect, and renew yourself with the seven healing steps of discovering your authentic self and life purpose within your business. Healing step number one, connect. Take a few minutes every day to go within. This can be a simple meditation or this can be daydreaming or over your morning cup of coffee or on your morning commute. Number two, gratitude. Think of five to ten things that you're grateful for in your life and within your business. Number three, forgiveness. Forgive yourself for the many times you are not true to yourself or to others. Number four, compassion. Hold compassion for yourself for the many times, the many difficult obstacles you had to overcome to become the amazing person you are today. Number five, celebrate. Celebrate you. Connect to your true, authentic self, to that powerful, successful person you are today. Number six, visualize the life that you wish to lead in one to three years. This is when your life purpose emerges. Be very specific with this, and then feel it, be it, and see it happening to you now. Number seven, the blessing. Ask your highest power or your greatest source with gratitude to bless this visualization and see it manifesting in your life now. You can follow these healing steps in the order that they were given or, and I highly recommend this method, by taking one healing step at a time and focusing on it every day. This will create a more profound experience in connecting with your authentic self and life purpose within your business. Up next, we get to know Mary Jane. Chronic illness can be devastating, but for Mary Jane, it set her on the path to her destined career. About 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a chronic illness and basically lost a 25-year career in dental practice management and corporate world overnight. Within that journey, I was able to find a book that completely changed my life. It was called Entering the Castle by Carolyn Mace. And within this book, she talks about how our souls are different rooms that we have different traumas and different stories that need to be released. And so as I began doing the exercises, I began releasing stories and realizing more of who I was. I was more than who I had been. But then I began to realize that there was a mind-body connection to illness. So I became more interested in that. So I started doing more research. Well, I also had to get an income. So I decided to start a career coaching business because Career coaching is something that I had done and taught before. So I hired a business coach to help me set up the business, to get myself oriented and started. Well, one of the things that this business coach would do is once a month she would have a guest speaker for her clients and we would have a conference call. Well, this is how I met my mentors and actually the people and why I'm here today. We were on a conference call and as soon as I put my headphones on and I'm, I'm listening, I hear these two gentlemen being introduced, Dr. Kirk Prine and Donnie Lobry. And as I'm listening to Kirk and Donnie talk, I'm thinking, this is my life story. These are, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And I talked to them and within two weeks, I was on a plane to San Francisco. Now this is a person who cannot leave the house weeks at a time. And within two weeks, was on a plane walking through San Francisco airport, <laughs> walking to hotels. And I had three days that changed my life. They were called intensives, meaning we spent nine to five doing nothing but work on ourselves. And what we were doing in that, within those three-day intensives was to go, go in deep within, to find the stories and the traumas that we had buried within our body, called body stories, to release them so that we could begin to heal, so that 
we can begin to move forward in our lives so that as business owners and entrepreneurs and what we call change makers, we now could go out and make that impact on the world. Well, it took three days to get through to mine. Then a huge story came up, a one that I had not told anybody about, but had completely dominated my life on many levels. They were able to help me to release that story, help me to breathe again, to be free of it. I went home a different person. And suddenly I realized that I wanted to do the work that they were doing. So within a year, I was back out in San Francisco where I became a certified body story expert and then also to become a Reiki master. I worked with Kirk and Donnie for two more years. I made several more trips out there and they now are my mentors, my guides, and they're the people that I go to and that I am forever grateful for because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be sitting here today talking to you. Hardship often prepares an ordinary person for an extraordinary destiny. C.S. Lewis. One of my favorite stories about my favorite quote of becoming the woman I was born to be. Last year, I participated in a large Women Equality Day. There was 200 people in attendance. And at that time, we're, several of us were asked to come on stage. But we were told as each one of us came on stage to say something about yourself, to make it brief. So each one of the women got up on stage and one says, well, I do this and I do that. And I guess I was feeling a little feisty. So I got up and I just looked out and I belted out loud, I've become the woman I was born to be. And when that happened, the presenter looked at me, the other women in the audience looked at me, and everybody started cheering and clapping because I spoke a truth that they were all feeling that day. Reiki and meditation can set people on the right path through relaxation. Watch as Mary Jane guides intern Caitlin through a meditation session. Okay, right now I'm going to demonstrate a mini Reiki session and meditation session with Caitlin here. Reiki is the gentle hands-on method of bringing relaxation to the body, mind, and soul. It helps bring the body into peaceful balance and harmony. So as she relaxes, I put my hands on her head. And as I place my hands on your head, the gentle flow of energy is now entering you to calm the mind, what we would call the monkey mind, which is so full of so many thoughts. It's feeling relaxed. And then these thoughts become peaceful as the body relaxes to remove the stress out of our life and to allow your soul to blossom and awaken. As the bodies relax, we'll do a simple meditation exercise where I'm going to hold Caitlin's hands. And again, I'm going to be transferring this peaceful Reiki universal life energy to you as we just do a brief meditation. Caitlin, it's time for us to go deep down within your soul. We're going to take a little journey down to meet yourself, entering your soul and to see the bright light that you are to all of us. And right now, I want you to envision a big, bright, white light centered in your heart. Feel that white light within your heart. Feel it grow within your soul. And what this bright light is, is love. This is love growing within you. And love says to you, Caitlin, you are the most wonderful woman that was ever born. Feel the love growing within you. Because that love is you. That is your spirit. That is your soul. That is Caitlin. She has become the woman she was, was born to be. And she is loved. And what I want you to do is anytime you ever feel sad and you want to go within, just take your hands, put them over your heart, and feel that white light growing within you. And say it again, thank you. And I am grateful, for I am now the woman I was born to be. 
Namaste. So how did Mary Jane score as a Grow Your Business Cleveland expert? We gave a thumbs up for helping people find their life purpose, spiritual healing, being feisty, and showing us the art of Reiki. Special thanks goes to our Grow Your Business Cleveland contributing experts for supporting our mission of growing business and kickstarting careers in Northeast Ohio. So don't miss a video or an opportunity to be part of the show. Subscribe at GYBCLE.com and follow us on our social media channels. And remember, if you like it, share it.